Hey, what's going on folks? This is uh, Michael from the Nightmare Vault and today I'm going to do a little update video because it's been a while since I've posted anything. Wanted to show you what we've been working on. So the uh, the haunt's coming along nicely. We got most of the walls up. I think there's only maybe two or three that we haven't done yet and uh, probably have those up in the next couple of days. So what I'm showing you right now is the treasure room. Still work in progress. Got things to, to fill up. We got all these empty space here on the side. But we got the pirate captain sitting in his chair. Got the curtains hung up. Got some of the, the foliage hung up. But, uh, and that chair is actually something we just made recently. I had, uh, I actually didn't like the way the chair looked originally. I don't think I uploaded a video of it but it was pretty plain looking. And so what I did is I added the, the bones to the bottom of the leg there and to the top. And then we also added some tapestry to the bottom of it as well as to the side and we kind of shredded it. And I think the chair looks way better. Uh, if you saw the original or if you've seen the original, it was just, it was just so boring looking. And I think this just really brings it out more. The, uh, the skeleton, this guy is actually a talking skeleton. He's got eye movement and mouth movement. It's not plugged in right now. I think once we get everything set up in this area, I'll probably do a video just on him. But yeah, right now that's the, that's what we got for the treasure room. Uh, let me, I'm actually kind of going backwards inside the haunted house here, but let me show you the skull hallway because this section is done. There's not really a whole lot to it. You'll have to forgive me, it's a little dark. Uh, it's dark outside too. I've got the garage door closed, but this is our skull hallway. It's, you know, we got the camo netting up. We got the lighting up. Chains. These chains are just foam, so people can walk right into them. We'll bug them. Um, you know, we, so we got that up. Let me turn around here. And right behind me, we have the archway, which just leads into the back of our garage right now. But we are going to be building a little room behind that. And that's where our helmsman's going to go. Uh, plan on having lightning and sound effects to go along with it. So I'm hoping that turns out pretty good. We already got I already got the controller for it. I just haven't messed with it yet. But that's that's what's going in that section. Um, oh yeah, and I'm sure someone's going to ask like, how did we make these skulls? We actually didn't make these. These are uh, vacuum formed panels. You can find these on Google. If you just go on Google and just type in like. Halloween vacuum foreign panels. You can probably find some companies that are selling them. I don't know if you're gonna be able to find these exact ones because the guy who sold us these, uh, I don't think is no longer around. But the skulls, the skull hallway is vacuum foreign panels. Our cave walls are also vacuum foreign panels. But everything beyond that is what we made ourselves. So like these brick panels, we made these ourselves. Um, but yeah, right behind, so behind me, just to give you guys an idea where we're at here, so this is the treasure room, and then when you turn around the corner to the left, this is the prison room. That's pretty much the rest of the haunt. This haunt's only 16 by 16, so it's not huge, so we're trying to work with limited space. But this is the prison room, we got our guy in the gibbet cage there, uh, just hanging around. Uh, he doesn't do anything. Uh, oh yeah, new thing this year, we added these little pillars. Uh, these are made out of foam. Uh, you know, we used the foam and like water, uh, spraying water on it trick, and then using a heat gun. Oh, excuse me. And then uh, I think we used um, drywall compound. The guy to get a little extra texture as well. And then those are foam skulls up there. Uh, I'm adding a flame pot this year. Gonna try to hang a couple of those in here. Hopefully the, the those things are actually quite loud in this space, so I'm hoping that the noise from the fan doesn't distract from everything else that's going on inside the haunt. Won't really know for sure until I, you know, get the audio and all that working. Uh, let me see here, and then we got the coffin there, which is that's not where it's going to go, so that's just temporary. But then on our right side, we've got our prison room with the little pillars that we made. Uh, this is new. Gonna have some audio accompanied with these guys. They're gonna be doing the, uh, you know, the thing from the Pirates of the Caribbean, the ride where they're whistling and trying to get the dog's attention. So they're gonna be doing that. They don't move or anything. It's just, it's just gonna be an audio that plays and it's gonna be motion activated. So when people kind of come into the section, 
they'll start, uh, you know, their little dialogue. The uh, prison bars, um, I don't know if I can show you this because it's kind of dark in here, but the prison bars just come right out. These are just PVC pipes, and I, if you look at the bottom floor there, I don't know if that comes in the camera or not, you can see holes there. So you stick the PVC pipe in there, and then at the very top of the frame, yeah, you can't even see that, but there's there's a hole right there. Yeah, there's a better angle, there you go. So there's a hole there. So the idea is you just slide the PVC pipe up. I can try to show you, because I have one hand free here. So let me see if I can do this. I can show you how I'm doing this. So the idea is you take the pipe here, sorry, and then you slide it up. You just gotta hopefully get in the right angle. There we go. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Trust me, it's actually not that bad. Let's see if I can get that in place. Fortunately, it's quite dark. Okay, there we go. So it's actually not that hard when you have lighting, but. Anyway, yeah, it just slides right in. That's how we do it. And then we can just take them right back out. So let me show you the inside of this. Again, it's it's dark, so hopefully it comes through on the video here. I'm kind of doing this at night. Uh, so that's the back part of the prison uh, wall or the, the frame of it. You can see how I built it. So it's just got like a bar in the middle, frame on the top. And then if we just pan down to the bottom. And you can see the bottom part of the frame, just for anyone who's looking at doing something similar. They should hopefully give you an idea of like how to set up prison bars that they can come in and out. So then, yeah, so you have all this extra room. So when you slide the bar in, you got all that room, and then you can drop it back down, put it in place. That's all there is to it. Pretty, pretty simple, really, when you look at it, but, uh, this room is still under construction. We have uh, some bars we're gonna be putting on the top of that and we're gonna hang chains from it, which is not in place right now. And then we have a lock pad that we're gonna put on the bars as well, which we cannot do until we get the rest of the walls up and everything else set. So a lot of the stuff in our haunt right now is just waiting on getting the last remaining walls up and the front facade. So once those are done, then we can really get the remaining finished here and then this is like the last section of the hunt which you know the walls are not up on the left side and we got a bunch of crap here piled up which obviously is not going to go here but we got some of the the foliage hung up there let me see if i can get an angle here where you can see because we got another archway here and inside here we have a bottle of bug spray but <laughs> obviously that's not supposed to be there but we have this little crate which Unfortunately, it does not come up in the video that well, but it's a wooden crate, and I have a, a, new, a guy on a pneumatic in there, and he pops up out of the box, screams and yells, does all that. That is going to be the only jump scare that we have inside our haunt this year. Uh, compared to our previous years, this haunt is actually quite tame, because it's really more of a walkthrough experience, not so much a, you know, things jumping at you kind of experience. Um, prop, it's kind of like, you know, on purpose, we get a lot of smaller kids that come through our haunts every year, so we don't want to make it too scary for them. Uh, yeah, I think that's really about it. I don't know if there's anything else I should cover. This is just what we've been doing, just been getting the walls set up, and it's, it's coming along. I think when I do the next video, it'll probably be when we get just about everything done, I believe. Yeah, probably most likely. Um, when I get when we get this room done, for sure, I'll do a separate video for that. Because this guy, when he talks, it's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.